What we have here now is uh, a little drawing showing uh, an enclosure, a rectangular enclosure. This dash line stands for a wall that doesn't require a new fence. These solid lines indicate new fence that's being put in. And what we're looking to do is to represent the area that we've enclosed as a function of this dimension. And in this particular problem, we're going to see this sketch again on the next, on the next problem. In this particular problem, I've given that, hey, we have 120 feet of fence. And what I'd like to do is now to write the area that we've enclosed as a function of the particular dimension we put here. Well, here's like any word problem. You have to bring certain knowledge to the problem. I know that the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. If the width of this rectangle is x, all I need to know is what the length is to establish what the area is. And so let's figure, how much fence do I have left? Notice I have used four x's in, in just making these strips of fence. How much is left for the width? Well, I started with 120. And I've used up that much, 4x of it, in the other pieces. And so that's the width of my area, or the, the length of the area. What's the area now? Well, it's length times width. It's x, the width, times the length. And as straightforward as that, I have represented the area of this rectangle as a function of this particular dimension. In calculus, what you will do, now this is beyond what I'm doing now, but in calculus, what you'll do now is maybe optimize this. Maybe to come up with the maximum area possible. But for our purposes, what we want to be able to do is to at least represent the, the quantity that we want to optimize.